guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, click that red subscribe button so you can see whenever I have a new video. So this is obviously a different setup. This is kind of a sneak peek as to what the nursery looks like, which is just like her little corner of the space. But um, today I am going to film the what's in my hospital bag video. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. One will be what I'm packing in my hospital bag for myself. And we'll, the second part will be what I'm packing in my hospital bag for the baby. So I'll just do them separate just so that time is not running out crazily. So first I'll show you guys this is the bag that I'm going to be taking. It is this large purple duffel bag. It has like the shoulder strap, the carrying straps, and it actually fits quite a bit of stuff in it. And um, so that's the bag that I'm going to take. So first things first, I will go through like toiletries and things like that as to what I'm packing. Um, I am going to pack everything. I will be packing everything in this and this is something I used to use like um, at home and it kept all, keeps all of my, whoop, so loud. Basically I used to have all my makeup in here but I've kind of downsized that. But this is what I'm going to put all of my toiletries in and I'll also put my makeup in here. Um, I don't have the makeup that I'm going to be using that I'll be able to show in this video just because I use it on a regular basis so that'll be one of my last minute packs. But this is what I'm going to pack all my toiletries in. And so the things that I'm going to be packing are all of the basics. I have my toothbrush and I also bought one of these containers to put it in. I have my body wash and this is just like the travel size dial Greek yogurt vanilla honey just in case I do want to take a shower and I bought this in the travel section at Walmart. I also bought a body lotion. Glycomed is my favorite lotion for body and for hands. I could barely live without it so this I'm really happy that I have a travel size one. I also bought a lip balm. I have a few but this one will just be specifically because otherwise who knows if I'll be able to find it. Um, a lot of people I've heard have said that the hospital it's like dry air and your lips get chapped and I am not a fan of having chapped lips so I'll have my lip gloss. I have two, two hair ties that I'm going to pack. I have a spare deodorant that I bought. This one I bought in the travel section at my Dollarama. And a pack of tissues. And the other two things that I bought or that I'm going to pack are, these are disposable nursing pads. Um, the brand is Lansano. And these I got as like a, they're just like a sample. So it's just two in here. And I got it when I went to go do my 3D40 ultrasound. They give you like a little goodie bag. So I have a few of these. So I'm just going to pack these. Although I know that they say that your milk doesn't necessarily come in until you go home. But just in case, I'll have these. Especially if, you know, your nipples get chapped, you know, from breastfeeding. It might be something comforting so that they're not like touching clothes directly. And the other thing that I bought is the Lansinel HPA Lanolin. And this one was recommended to me by my midwife. And these ones are, this is for soothing and protecting sore and cracked nipples. So this is something that I may need in the hospital, I may not, um, but I'm gonna pack it just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry. The next things that I've packed are just my, I have are gonna be my clothing items. And I have this, I bought it from Sephora, and this is the makeup eraser. I need to clean it, but it's got a stain, but whatever. This is my makeup eraser just to get makeup off or just to like wipe my face. Just need water for this, so I'm gonna pack that. I also have socks. So I have one pair of regular socks. Um, I have a pair of ultra soft socks that I bought. So these are just some purple fuzzy socks just to keep my feet warm. And I also got these snuggly extra long socks. And these ones have the grips on the bottom. And these are basically for labor. So if I, um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to have a natural birth. And so I might be walking around um, 
to kind of help ease the pain because I'm not a fan of just kind of laying down if I'm in pain. So these are just for me to be able to walk around um, the unit and walk around the room. So I have that. Um, the next things that I've packed are is a nursing bra and this one I bought from Time Maternity and I've been wearing these for a, quite a bit of weeks actually probably since about my second trimester really comfortable easy to latch and they're just very soft and comfortable so I'm gonna pack one of these I've also packed a pair of comfortable pajamas so these pajamas look like this and these are the pants just really comfortable and this is the top I don't always I don't usually wear it I usually just wear the bottoms but this is the top and it's a button-up so it'll be really easy for nursing and I have also packed two pairs of leggings these are just some cheap leggings that I bought from Walmart um, I have two of them just in case I don't want to stay in my pajamas all day or just in case I need to change I have two of these and these are probably definitely come, definitely come in handy um, afterwards when I come home just to be comfortable these ones are a little bit I bought like a bigger size than I normally wear just so that they can be really like comfortable and not tight fitting and I also am going to be bringing this shirt so this is probably what I'm gonna wear to go home I don't know I have this and I have like a pullover sweater so I haven't quite decided which one but this one is just a plaid button-up shirt so again easy access for nursing so I have that to wear and I also bought this this is a pullover and um, this is a pullover that I bought from Walmart and you can see just a just a big oversized kind just a big oversized sweater so I have that it's really comfortable and soft um, I also packed a nursing cover so this one is just a gray and white striped one just in case I do have visitors I know that my parents will be there Hoyne's family might be there um, and just so that if somebody's in the room and I need to nurse I'm not just completely exposed so I'm packing this nursing cover the next things that I have that I'm going to pack I'm not 100% sure about this one but this is the always maxi pads um, these ones are the extra heavy overnight up to 10 hour leak guard protection I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these because I have a feeling they're gonna feel like wearing it like wearing a diaper and um, I don't know how comfortable they'll be but I bought them so I'm gonna keep these probably at home if I don't use them then I'll I'll return them so I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm gonna take those with me but I have them and the ones that I'm going to take are the depends these were recommended to um, to me through the prenatal classes that I took and these are the fit flex underwear for women they are maximum absorbency and so I'm just gonna take a couple of these just in case I know they sometimes give you underwear there but it's just you know these ones might be more comfortable so I'm just gonna pack a couple just to see what kind of is going to work for me and the other last thing that I'm going to pack is I do have a binder from my midwives but this is just to keep any other um, information or documents that I need to take with me to the hospital I'm going to put it in this and I'm going to pack it into my bag. And that is it for what I am going to pack in my hospital bag. If there's anything you guys think I've left out or I missed, a must have, leave a comment down below. I definitely want to know. I am getting this all prepped, but you know what? I can always throw something in kind of last minute. So leave a comment down below if you think that there's anything that I'm missing. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.